Man, oh man, what are we about to get into today? What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica. We are currently en route to our Lost River Beacon and uh, today we are going to be exploring the Lost River going a little bit deeper, a little bit farther, a little bit faster, a little bit harder than we did in the last episode. So you guys know last episode we kind of discovered the entrance, we um... Did a little bit of exploring with the prawn suit, but the prawn suit's kind of hard to maneuver. It's not the easiest thing in the world. You gotta use the, the grappling arm and, and kind of finagle it and stuff like that. But uh, with the sea moth, we're gonna be able to zoom around, go exactly where we wanna go, up, down, left, right, whatever, and never have to worry about it. So it's it's gonna be crazy, dude. Like, uh, we, we already found some new items and new materials that we didn't have before. Really, we're on the hunt for nickel. That's like the, the biggest thing that we definitely want to find here. But uh, I've got a feeling there are going to be all kinds of crazy new things to explore, uncover, discover, all that kind of stuff here. So uh, this is going to be insane, dude. We've got a depth module Mark III on our Seamoth, which is going to let us go down to 900 meters, which is the deepest you can go in a Seamoth. Unfortunately, you can't. Oh, jeez, dude. I'm not gonna lie, that just that just scared me just a little bit. Not not gonna lie to you guys. He's he's not a very nice person, that's for sure. What is that? Bro, we have never never seen a lot of this stuff. Stop it! Stop it! Where is it? Oh, that's a reaper! Shut it off! Shut the light off, let's go! Oh my god. Oh, he's right up there, dude. He's kind of coming this direction. Stop, dude. Stop, 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 stop. We've got another shark coming after us. Bro, there's so much going on right now. I don't even know what to say. We need to we need to fix our thing. We need to fix it. Where is it? Right here. We need to repair it. Dude, this is this is terrifying down here. I'm not going to lie. I kind of felt a little bit more a little bit more safe inside the prawn suit, but we're we're okay. Anyway, yeah, we came down here before. Prawn suit was not ideal. I don't even remember what I was saying a second ago because obviously we we've, we've gotten turned around here, but here we go. We're now going to be in the sea moth. We're going to be able to go exactly where we want to go, do exactly what we want to do. Hopefully not end up wrecking this thing. We want to find some of that nickel ore, and we just kind of want to see what we can find in general. I think is the uh, the goal for this expedition. So we'll we'll see what happens. It's already off to a strong start. So we we've, we've been here before. We've come all the way through here. There's a second Reaper skeleton, and then there's a heavy drop-off, and that's where we ended in our last episode. We also, you know what? We haven't really... One thing we didn't we didn't do is we didn't scan much of anything last time we were down here. Ghost weed? Hmm. So yeah, I, I think there's some new recipes and stuff we can make that we have not, not yet uncovered. Can't scan skeletons. I really want to scan those those ghost rays. Can we scan these guys? Are they... I don't know if they're bad. They don't... They don't seem that bad. I don't know. I don't really want to get too close, though. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. This is about as far, maybe a little bit farther than what we made it before. Checking to make sure we don't have any stones left unturned. Hmm. We made it to here and then we turned around because we. Ooh, what is. What is that? Bro, what is that? Ah! It's coming for us! Maybe not. I'm gonna turn my light off and we're gonna try to go around this dude. What is this? Is this something we can scan? No. Bro, what 
Bro, what is that? I'm gonna go... I don't know where... I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna try to stay away from it. Obviously that thing is... Hold on, we're, we're gonna save. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to lose Cooper too. It's so frustrating to lose a Seamoth and have to rebuild it and stuff like that. So if we die now, we can just reload our save and we'll be alright. We gotta find a way around... Oh god, dude. I'm so scared. He sees us. He sees us for sure. Run! Run! Ah, run! Ah! Okay, we're gonna go up the right side. We're gonna go up the right side, dude. I don't. What is this thing? It's so freaking scary. Look. Oh god. Okay. I don't, I don't like you either, dude. You're you're hideous. All right. All right. I'm gonna hide in this corner. How are we supposed to get around this dude? I want to keep going deeper. He like turns himself on and off. I can't tell if he's... He's got to be coming for us, dude. No? Okay. Alright, bro. I'm, I'm about to get real brave. I don't think I could say that after the, the screams that just came out of me. He's right there, dude. We're just, we're, we're, we're yellow, yellow, yellow in it. We're just gonna go. He's coming for us. Don't you do it. He gave up. I think he's just kind of like patrolling that area because every time we got farther away from it, he wouldn't follow us. Okay, he gave up. Let's turn our lights back on. We got some rubies and stuff out here we're going to grab. And it looks like... Are those... Are we good here? I think we're good. What are these? Amoeboid? Can't pick those up. Interesting. Not sure what that is, but we scanned it. What else are we working with here? Dude, this is... This is creepy. I don't like this. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. I'm not worried about those dudes. They're a little slow. Pick up a ruby. I'm not even sure. Like, the, the problem is... What is this? Is that titanium? Yeah. I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Like normally when we're going to a new area, I kind of know what to expect. I kind of know what the goal is. What is this? Nickel ore. That's what we're, okay. I guess technically I know what, what we're looking for. So we're looking for nickel ore. Now nickel can be found in the large deposits or in smaller deposits too. I'm just not sure what it looks like. It's not gonna come out of sandstone. So I'm assuming we're looking for like a little gray rock on the ground. And if we can find that, we're good to go. There's a ruby right there. I'm gonna grab that. What's down here? Not something we wanna touch! Okay. So now we know that stuff's poisonous. Hmm. Dude, so many rubies. I don't think I've ever seen this many rubies. So we're gonna keep grabbing these. The fact that we're still alive makes me happy, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. I feel like we're doing a good job so far. Dude, this is terrifying. I love it, but I I'm terrified. Like, I... We are we are deep right now. We've just gotta we've gotta find that nickel in an individual package so that we can pick it up. Whoa! What is this? We've got a new alien base, fellers. All right. Got a broken off piece over here. Hmm. Interesting. 
Got some slate over here. We'll pick these up. Get some diamonds and whatever else. Good to go there. Dude, so we're gonna have to look through this base, I guess. Oh, there's a warper. Warper just warped. I'm not sure he warped to, but I don't really trust him. Got more pieces of this base down here. Gotta make sure we don't keep running into things. That wouldn't be good for us. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Hmm. Well, isn't that interesting? I feel like if I was the game, I would put an entrance in the bottom. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Well, I don't see that there's a door on the bottom. That's what I would have done. I feel like that's the the lesser likely or the lesser obvious thing to do, but that's all right. Got lots of rubies around here, dude. Every time we get out of this, I'm worried that there's going to be some big freaking thing that's like right there on our tail waiting for us and we just weren't paying attention enough to see him I'm wondering if we can can we scan these alien things no okay good don't want storage just one inside I'll turn around. Don't you worry, bro. You keep warping over there, and I'm just gonna go the other way. I remember the first time we saw one of those, and I freaked out. They... We haven't run into much... Si okay. <sighs> this thing's come out of nowhere. We haven't run into many of them since, but I feel like they don't really mess with you too hard. I don't know. Oh, hello. Is this the entrance right here? I think it might be. Alright, well... We've got a cube. I'm going to go ahead and say, dude, I'm going to save a lot through this episode because I really don't want to mess anything up. Now this, this said that it had dis walls in this diseases are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Bro, what? We've got an egg here. A sea dragon. A sea dragon? It. Did that just say a sea dragon egg? What is this? Download the damage report. New PDA data. Bro, that. That said. WHAT THE FUDGE IS THAT?! Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Okay, so we got a self-scan here in a second. Hold on. We're starting the oxygen's starting to get down. I don't I don't wanna wanna run out entirely. I think we've discovered most of this entire base here. Bro, what is that thing? And what is what is a, a drag a what dragon? A what kind of a drag? We said something about a dragon. What is this? Skeletal remains? Dude, this is terrifying! Is there anything in it? Nope. That's disgusting that we can go in it though. Anything else down here? Anything interesting? Thought that might be like a little tunnel or something. No, nope. all right. Yeah, I'm I'm scared, bro. It was trying to keep something in or keep something out, and it failed. And I... did you guys hear that? 
It failed, and I just, I kind of don't want to be here anymore after hearing that, so we're just, uh, yeah, I think, I, I think we're just going to get out of here. We don't have a tablet to insert. That's got another piece of data for us. We should have brought a purple tablet with us. Let's get back in our seat, Mom. Hold on, we, we got to see, let's see what we've got going on here. All right, so, got a bunch, hold on, I want to turn around. I feel like we're getting snuck up on, no. Uh, let's see what we have here. So we, we found some indigenous life forms, deceased remains of a research skeleton or specimen. Hmm. Double eye sockets, larger. Interesting there. We found the amoeboids earlier. That's nothing really crazy. And then we've got uh, the ghost weed from earlier as well. So we're gonna close those up. I want to see the data we downloaded, though. That's the thing that's the most interesting. Data downloads, alien data. Self-warping quarantine enforcer unit? And warper part. So yeah, that's saying that the warper's bad. We don't want to go to the warper. Let's see what else here. Damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter closing in at high speed. It destroyed some specimens. Infected infected individuals may not leave the planet, and I think we're infected, so that's why we can't leave. Speaking of which, we gotta stand we gotta scan ourselves. This so large egg has been held or medically sealed environment has been chemically sterilized without the means that the facility house fully grown sea dragon specimen it is possible aliens have to study the egg in an incubation process. No, not sure why. Okay, so now we've got sea dragons to worry about because I needed one more thing to, to panic about in this game. Let's do a self-scan, see what we've got going on. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. So our infection- Oh! 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 Stop! So our infection's getting worse and we Bro, what? We're gonna die if we don't fix it. You've been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium and is currently multiplying your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time is two weeks. Your immune system is currently combating infection at low efficiency. Maybe you're experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. It's gonna get worse as the bacterium takes hold. Salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhabit the systems. Oh my god, dude. Okay. So we, we've got sea dragons. We've got infections. Things are getting worse and worse. And it sounds like we've got like two weeks to live. Which I don't know if that's like... because. It actually tracks your time in game like you guys can see here if we go to our voice log we're on day 51 right now so I I don't know if if we don't fix this within two weeks if we just die could you imagine that that would be cr okay now bro what is that do I even want to go out here Bro, look at all the rubies. Are you serious? Oh, it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am. Is there one more? No, maybe not. I'm getting too hot. I want to take my clothes off. Dude, we've got rubies all over the place. This is like the the mother or something. Leviathan skeletal remains. So this Leviathan, I th is that the thing? Oh, that's a sea dragon Leviathan right there. Okay, so that must have been trying to get, that's what happened. That was trying to get in that alien base to get to its egg, I bet. Bro, we have so many directions to go right now. I don't even know. I don't even know where to go next.
We've got a crazy blue thing over there. We've got a way to go up river over here. I think there's a third way to go over here. We are totally at a crossroads right now. I'm gonna look for nickel. We gotta find some nickel, bro. There's gotta be some nickel around here. I'm seeing tons of rubies, but no nickel. Hmm. I mean, I kind of want to pick up all these rubies because they've been rare up until this point, but they don't really seem that rare anymore, dude. They're all over the place down here. Pick that up. All right. Um, do we just pick a direction and go for it? I'm going to go to the, the blue. I feel like going to the, the blue light's a good idea. We're going to say this. The thing is, is we're going to start running out of water, food, and, and fuel. So we've, we've got to be careful here. We're about 66% on our fuel. At 50, that's what we need to be able to go back. So we're going to see... Oh, this is pretty. What is this? The Tree of Life? Can I scan it? Can I scan you? Giant Cove Tree. I will respect your tree. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. I will respect your tree, everybody. I will be kind to your tree. I just ask that you please show me where to find the nickel because that's ultimately what we wanted when we came here. Seek fluid intake immediately. Fluid intake. We we do have some water with us, Vital not a ton signs. though. Stabilizing. We're going to cover this entire exit. Who knows what's going to be waiting for us on the other side. I see lots of gel sacks down there. Bro, this is like... Really beautiful, but really creepy at the same time. Also, there may not be a way out this way. I figured there would be, but... I don't... I don't see there's a way for us to get out unless we go deeper and we can't do that. Okay. So we tried. Eventually we're going to have to be able to go deeper than what we can here. So we're going to need upgrades. We need to get that nickel ore because then we could do upgrades to our prawn suit. I think our prawn suit's going to be the only thing that we can we can survive down here with. You know what I mean? Like I, I think we're going to have to take the cyclops and we're going to have to maneuver it through all of this, which is going to be hard in and of itself. But then we're going to have to use the prawn suit to get down into the other little areas and stuff. But honestly, dude, we're getting down 57 power left. I don't really want to overstay my welcome. And I think we probably want to think about heading back. Hold on. There's stuff... There's a deposit inside this this acid slime. You guys see it right there? It's kind of hard to see. Oh, what is... I'm wondering if that's where we get the nickel from. Hold on, there's quartz on the side. There's a ruby over here. I may grab that ruby. Since we're already here, might as well. So we're gonna pick this up. But yeah, it looks like there's... Welcome aboard, Captain. It looks like there's actually stuff down in the the slime. Where are we even going? Oh. want to make sure we don't go the wrong way, you know what I mean? Alright, so there's that carcass. I just want to make sure we can get back out. So I'm, I'm gonna go this way, but let's, hold on, let's keep looking here. There might... Oh, what is... What is that? Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna save and we're gonna try to take a dip. Nickel ore. We died. Okay. We, we, we've got to reload. 
Give me a second, we're gonna reload. Well, we now have a plan at least, or we, we kind of, kind of know of something we can do. So if we come, if we come back here, we are, we are under the 900 meter mark that we need to be at. So if we can figure out a way to get our Cyclops all the way down into this area, Carrying our prawn suit, we might be able to get our prawn. I'm assuming our prawn suit's gonna be able to withstand just because it's it's a tough suit. It's much tougher than the Seamoth or, or being outside of it. I'm assuming that if we get our, our Cyclops with the prawn suit all the way down here, we can release the prawn suit and use that to get that nickel ore. And uh, then once we've got that nickel ore, obviously we're gonna be able to make new depth mod upgrades for our suit and for the Cyclops and for everything else. And that's gonna be that's gonna be smooth sailing from there. And then we're gonna obviously I also want to explore the other areas. I feel like I kind of want to come back on the Seamoth first, just to know for sure what we want to do. Now hopefully we aren't gonna get hit by that Ghost Leviathan here. I know he was in this area, but I'm I'm just gonna keep on going because we're gonna run out of we're gonna run out of juice sooner rather than later. So yeah, I I think. In our next episode, I think we're going to come back with the sea moth again so we can explore the areas we didn't get to explore this time since we ran out of juice. There he is right there. All right, we're just going to we're going to pretend like we don't see him. I'm going to shut my lights off. We're going to pretend like we don't see him. If he's not there, he's just a figment of our imagination. We we don't have to worry about it, right? He's, he's looking at us, but we're just going to keep on running. But yeah, I, I think we're going to... Something really doesn't like us here, dude. But yeah, I think we're going to come back. We're going to explore the other areas of the underground Lost River that we have not been able to see yet. And then obviously we kind of also know where to come find Nickel Ore. And I, I we've only found the big, like composites of them where it's like the the really big things you need to drill into i know you can find it outside of that but now we just know that we have to look in these hold on can we like i'm hoping to find some there's some quartz there but yeah dude that's that's the key man is we've gotta we've gotta look in these and we might we might be able to spot some there's another Another piece there, okay. Is that, hold on, is that nickel ore right there? Make sure nothing's looking at us. If that's nickel ore... It is, dude, we messed up! We already had our prawn suit down here. Oh, we just didn't know where to look. So there might be even more of them near this entrance. That's all right though, dude. We can't, we can't be expected to know everything, so yeah. I think it's about time that we head back. I think we've got to get back home, make sure we don't get stuck here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back. Don't you don't you guys worry, dude. This is almost even more ominous, to be honest. Coming out here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case there are any Leviathan Reapers in the area. Cause I know there's some some creepy stuff out here. All right, so we. We want to go up and we want to turn around. We're going to go back this way. And hopefully, just hopefully, we can make it home safe. We'll see, boys. Last time we left this thing, we got attacked by a Reaper. Or Cyclops did, at least. I'm trying to get up to the surface. I feel like those guys don't really like being up near the surface. They like to be down in the depths. So I'm going to get all the way up to the surface. And we're going to head back. To Overall, very successful trip. Learned a lot, found a lot of stuff, uncovered that alien base, dude, like, feel like we, we did about everything we could. We nearly ran out of power in our sea moth, and we're running out of food and water, too, so, that was successful. And just Inside like that, starvation imminent. we have made it back home. Apparently, we've got an emergency going on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna run in immediately. Go grab some Welcome food. That was a long captain. trip back. But we're going to grab the food off of these potato plants over here. We're going to drop off everything we picked up and, uh... Vital signs stabilizing. I think we're going to be all right. Bro, look at all the rubies we got. 
We are rubied out. Oh, I forgot we had these ion cubes. Hold on, I'm gonna throw a diamond in here. These ion cubes, I'm pretty sure we've picked up a couple of those in the past. Yeah, we're gonna put these over here. We've also got that gold, which we are gonna put back over in the gold and silver department. Looks good. Go ahead and move the prawn suit so we can throw our uh, throw our sea moth up on the charger. I feel like that needs it the most. And uh, boom, there you guys have it. I would say. That was a highly successful episode. Like I said, I think in our next one, we're gonna take the Seamoth back. We may try to find a new entrance to the river. There might be one, like I said, there are four of them, so there might be one that's a little bit closer and, and it kind of gets us into a different section of it. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, we're gonna do some more exploring, see what other secrets we can uncover. And uh, then from there, obviously, we're gonna have to take the Cyclops and the Prawn Suit and we're gonna take them in there and uh, we're gonna we're gonna get that nickel ore. Hopefully we can can find that relatively soon. It's a big new piece of the puzzle that we need to discover, and uh, things are things are looking pretty good here. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for our next episode of Subnautica. Catch you all later. Peace out.